What is one of the dumbest things you've done when your brain was on autopilot? Was brushing my teeth and went to throw something away, but ended up spitting all over the floor instead. Once put toothpaste on my razor and very nearly put it in my mouth before the gears in my brain screeched to a halt and the warning sirens went off. I now keep my razor in the shower, far away from my toothbrush. Wake up in the middle of the night to take a pee, then just autopiloted into my morning routine. It wasn't until after I drank my coffee that I realized it was only 3 a.m. and that I wasn't going to be able to go back to sleep. I took a nap after work, woke up at 7 p.m., and the sky was about the same color it is in the morning. I went into immediate autopilot and made coffee, packed my lunch, and realized what I'd done when I was halfway downtown. I've gotten in my car on the weekends to go somewhere and gone on autopilot and realize it as I'm pulling into my works parking lot. I'm like, why the f did I drive to work? I've had similar experiences. I had three jobs for a while and occasionally I'd get dressed for the right job, then drive straight to the wrong one and not realize it until I'm at the door or answering the phone at job A with job B's greeting. I went inside the gas station paid, then drove off, twice, didn't even fill up, just drove away, edit, changed satiation, to station, before the car satiation jokes, become too terrible to bear, I've done the same thing going through the drive through a time or two, pay for my food, get my receipt, drive off, turn around and go back for my food. I use the key fob from my car, to lock my refrigerator, yeah, I don't know either. I was a kitchen employee at Arby's when I was 18. We used to have sub rolls that were foot long, but the only subs we sold were 6 inch. So you had to cut each roll in half before you used it. I was just zoned out one day and I ended up cutting the sub roll in half, putting the knife back in the sub roll bag and then trying to use the sub roll to cut the next sandwich. My manager saw it and effing died. Imagine being a customer and seeing your employee trying to cut bread with bread. Waited at a stop sign for 5 minutes, thinking it was a red light. I was not on my phone. I didn't hold anybody else up. Luckily, reminds me of the old saying, drunk drivers are more likely to run a stop sign. Stoned drivers are just gonna wait for the sign to turn green. I was working fast food and taking orders, both inside and for the drive through I took someone's order inside at the counter and told them to pull forward to the second window, while on autopilot, goes outside and stands at the window. A couple of weeks ago, I was driving home, but instead of going to my current house, I drove to my old house. I haven't lived there in over 5 years. I pulled into the driveway, and luckily I realized what I had done before I actually got out of the car. I had a dislocated knee and kicked a soccer ball that was coming towards me. Did it hurt? It caused my knee to go back in place, and then I threw up. Edit. I just wanna say thanks for my first ever gold and silvers. Also I don't know if it is funnier, but to add context, I'm a 5 feet 3 girl who is extremely uncoordinated, and my first thought was, OMG I actually hit it, and then I threw up. Was holding my phone and ice cream and a cone. Phone rang, answered ice cream, a sticky ear, is surprisingly uncomfortable, passes ice cream over to person, it's for you. Early morning, I was about to put mouthwash on my toothbrush, but I caught myself and I was like, nice try, brain, and put them back. Then, I grabbed the toothpaste and squeezed it on my palm, edit, first gold and silver awards, thanks, guys. I'm happy that my stupidity can provide entertainment for whiles. Continuously jammed my work key into my house door. My work key is a big silver one, and my house key is one of those picture ones, with a bunny on it. I tried to click my house door open, with my car keys, on more than one occasion. Thank god, I'm not the only one who does this, and my car has range, so it literally takes my lights flashing a couple times before I look around, to make sure my neighbors didn't see. Flipped my Kindle over, to read the other side of a document, the reverse millennial. 
my brother ordered nachos at a Mexican restaurant, grabbed a chip, and proceed to watch himself dip it into his tea. After about two dips, he came back into reality, shook his head and went, what? My mother is an EMT. After a 24 hour shift, she came home and tried to unlock the front door with her car keys button, and did that, for about 5 minutes. I once drove to work, when I was supposed to drop my younger brother off at school, neither of us seemed to notice, until we got to my workplace, and I had turn around, he was late. Tore open a sugar packet, poured it directly into the trash, tossed the empty paper packet into my coffee, I've done this too many times to count, making coffee before you had your coffee is a sport. I was folding my freshly laundered bed linens. While simultaneously putzing around the house, I don't know what to tell you but somehow, I was folding a pillowcase, then the next moment, I couldn't find it anywhere, and I looked everywhere my very tiny home, it wasn't in the folded pile, it wasn't in the closet, it wasn't in the bedroom, bathroom, and kitchen, where I puttered around, while folding said laundry, it still haunts me, and I'm going to find that effing pillowcase, even if it kills me, edit. I didn't expect this to blow up omg, I am now even more determined to look for that pillowcase, lost it last Wednesday, I am at my mother's house for the weekend, but will update this when I get back home, it's definitely not in my hand, my other hand, trash or fridge, my main suspects are, the closet, or within the fitted sheets, meaning I have to refold them, what's funnier is, there are two pillowcases of the same design, and it's making me even crazier, thinking I imagined the other one. I was also searching for it, holding the other one, like it was a missing cat poster, lol. Also, I am not German, just learning the language. I used to have a cat, but now I currently don't. Here he is. Edit 2. Update to anyone still interested, I haven't found the pillowcase yet. I have checked everywhere, the linen closet, kitchen cabinets, bathroom cabinets, bedroom cabinets, fridge, and the bed and other pillows. I think I'm losing my mind, or have I actually lost it already, when I couldn't find that damn pillowcase in the first place. Overshot an exit that I've used hundreds of times, didn't notice, and ended up driving another 50 miles, before realizing that I was way out of the city's boundaries. Still didn't remember any of the in-between, just starting to drive, and then realizing, I had no idea where I was. Dang we love mindless driving, lol. Thank god, driving skills, are part of the autopilot experience. Both my grandmas live like 3 hours away, but one is north of where I live, the other west. I once made it halfway, towards grandma north, till I realized, I actually was to drive to grandma west, that weekend. Put a dog biscuit into the washing machine instead of a detergent pod, I realized before turning it on. So I was able to recover it, and fed the Tide Pod to your dog? Don't be silly, dogs aren't dumb enough to eat Tide Pods, people, on the other hand. When I was a brand new mom on maternity leave, but still trying to juggle law school and a newborn, my sister-in-law had an emergency, and had to leave her Boston Terrier with me. Even though he was a very well-behaved dog and had met the baby, we still kept them separated, just in case. One morning, after my husband left for work, I picked up the baby up out of the bassinet, and went downstairs to make coffee. My husband had forgotten something, and promptly came right back in, to find me at the counter, brewing coffee, rocking a black and white dog, in one arm, while our son, still quietly chilling, in his bassinet upstairs. He took the day off from work, and I went back to sleep. I have a dog with fluffy white hair. Think poodle-ish. I was on the couch petting and talking to my dog, for a good while, when I see my wife come down the stairs. Trailing behind her was my dog. I had been petting, a Costco fuzzy white blanket the whole time. I wish I could say, it only happened once. Edit. For those asking for pics of my pup at Denver the Dudler Dog on Insta. Update. You can now see my dog and the blanket at Denver the Dudler Dog on Instagram. Ahaha <laughs> this is hilarious. Can't imagine what it must have looked like to your wife, you being all, who's a good boy and kissy facing with a goddamn rug. You have no idea. Now, anytime my wife sees anything remotely white and fluffy she says, who's a good boy?
Had a drink in my hand and dumped it out, because I checked the time on my watch. My boss did this, but he was drinking coffee and sitting in a chair. He went home to change his pants after that. God I love smart watches and the havoc they create. Not me, but one time my GF got handed her drink at Starbucks, said thanks, went over to the bar to get cream or something, and immediately dropped her fresh drink, straight into the trash can at the bar. Her mother and I just looked at her, and started laughing. The barista saw what happened and with a, it happens attitude, agreed to replace the drink. It also helped, that no one was in there, except us. Haha, <laughs> we still bring it up every now and then and all laugh, my gf included. When I was like 9 or 10, my grandparents had a beach house in Biloxi, Mississippi. I know, why the hell there? Anyway, the condominium complex had a pool, and my mother took me to the pool, as the adults were going off gambling and whatnot. Mom and I arrive at the pool and there's a girl there, maybe 13 or 14, me. Being on the edge of full blown adolescence, was locked on her, so mom was talking about, god knows what, at the time, I'm just, aha, uh -huh. yeah mom while watching this girl swim, and loading her, into my 10 year old spank bank, I begin to take off my shirt, but I had gone full autopilot, and slid my swim trunks down, as if I was about to get into a shower, oh if I pulled them back up, because I think the girl had noticed but mom didn't. I told my mother. I had to take a wicked shit. And went back to the condo. And now I have this horrid memory. To look back on every now and again. Even into my late 20s. I was trying to make some scrambled eggs. Basic prep. Crack the eggs. Put the eggs in a bowl. Toss the shell. My dumbass. Crack the egg. Put egg in the trash. I literally stood above the trash can. With the shell in my hands processing what had just happened. For about 30 seconds, I just had the faint feeling of, I f up, and was wondering exactly, how, for way too long. I do so much dumb effing stuff, while on autopilot, and it doesn't help, that I'm on autopilot, more often than not. Thrown away so many spoons and forks, then had to dig in the trash, to get them back out. Threw away my phone, instead of my trash, more times, than I care to mention. Where are my keys? Where are my keys? Oh, that's right. They're in the fridge. Cause F you, that's why. Throw away something I was eating. Where's my phone? Where's my goddamn phone? In the closet, on the top shelf, underneath a stack of papers. Cause F you, that's why. I was riding passenger in my car with my wife driving. I was sort of brain dead, after work, while we were carpooling and we came to a stoplight. It turned green, but the car in front of us wasn't moving for a few seconds. I was trying to call the car a mother trucker and then tell my wife to honk, but ended up saying, honk mother trucker, let me tell you, the look my wife had on her face before she realized I was being retarded was something unique. So now it has become a joke between us, cause she started laughing her ass off. Once I realized what I had done moments later and I went, wait no, that isn't what I meant. The amount of times I've gone to the shop to buy something and left without picking up said item is too damn high. The other day, I finally remembered to buy more toilet roll from the shop round the corner, but just as I got to my door on the way home, realized I'd left the effing toilet roll I'd paid for on the counter and left empty handed. I woke up, so I automatically got dressed, prepared things to school and started making myself a breakfast. Suddenly my dad appears in the kitchen, saying, it's 3 in the morning and it's Sunday, what the hell are you doing? Reminds me of the time I got up and started writing a story based on the last song I heard on the radio at 2am. Mum asked me what I was doing up, and I said, I have to finish this. She told me, that school had been out, for 3 weeks. I've had two, both driving related for some reason. One, I was at the grocery store, pushing my car through the aisle, as you do. Then, when I went to turn left into another aisle, I tried to put on my blinker for some reason. Two, class was just ending, and as I was about to stand up to leave, I reached down to unbuckle my seatbelt. Edit, wow, thanks for the silver kind stranger. Also, 
Thanks to everyone for laughing at my stupidity. Put pasta on the stove, but forgot to add water. For another half hour, I was hearing the cackling noise of burning pasta and thinking, I wonder where this noise is coming from. The smell finally got to me. I work at a busy restaurant, so I end up saying, corner, hundreds of times a night, as I go back and forth around corners and doorways in the kitchen, was running food to a table, set it down gently, and in my sweetest customer service voice I said, corner, while looking the customer right in the eye instead of, here is your soup or something, like I usually do, they looked confused, my brain tried to reset, and so naturally I said, thank you, as if that made it better, I ended up just backing away, it was a lost cause. My brother used the washroom before bedtime, and it was my turn to go now. I wanted to brush, and we had newly shifted, so everything was in a mess, and hence I couldn't find the toothpaste. So, I asked my bro, where he kept it, and when I couldn't find it, where he said it was, he came to check himself, and handed me the shaving cream. When I pointed it out, he said, that's why it tasted odd, I just thought it was from a different brand from around here. TLDR, my brother used shaving cream as toothpaste. I poured water from a kettle in my French press, cafeta, let the coffee brew, poured it into a mug, added caramel syrup, took it up two flights of stairs, took a sip, and nearly spat it out. I'd done all that, before realizing, I hadn't boiled the kettle. Most heartbreaking cup of coffee ever. Peed in the trash can, wasn't even thinking. Just got up, walked towards it, opened the lid, thinking it's the toilet seat, and let it rip. By the time I realized it, way too late and I just committed to it. The bags are waterproof after all. My morning routine included drive through breakfast at McDonald's. Back when they had the garbage can in the lane, every morning I'd get my breakfast, pull up, and throw away yesterday's old bag and random trash. One day, my superior intellect decided to just simplify the process and chunk the new breakfast in the trash. Realized it the moment after it matted. Pulled around for try number two. I normally wear contacts, but sometimes don't put them in on the weekends. Getting ready for bed on a Saturday. Put my contacts in, lay down in bed, and realized I could see clearly. Felt like Peter Parker after he first got bit by the spider. Walking into my room from the kitchen, cup of OJ in one hand, and my phone in the other, meant to throw my phone on the bed, accidentally ended up throwing my juice into my bed, I was so annoyed, I didn't even bother cleaning it up until the morning, slept on the couch. One evening, I was playing Europa Universalis, and I was pretty immersed in the gameplay, suddenly I thought, I could grab a beer, so I paused the game, and went to the fridge for one but there were none. Weird, I though, I was almost sure I had at least three bottles there, so I returned to the computer, and all three bottles, stood and opened, on my desk. Apparently, I had the same thought four times already, but every time I got back to the computer, I forgot about the beer, and went back to playing, without remembering the incident. All kinds of things when I've first woken up, either in the bathroom or kitchen, Put body wash in my hair instead of shampoo. Put shampoo on my body instead of body wash. Put hair gel on my toothbrush. Reapply deodorant a few times, because I couldn't remember if I just did. Put, dry, fortunately, dog food in my cereal bowl, and cereal in my dog's bowl. The absolute worst, was one time, I opened a can, of wet dog food, and licked the lid. Earlier today I filled up my, electric kettle at the tap, and then went to place it in the microwave. In my defense, I was about to make myself some instant ramen, and I was only half focusing on the job at hand, while thinking of other things. This is a while ago, but I was working at McDonald's and worked in the morning, not a morning person. Still not, my brain wakes up around 10am, and I think it was like 8am, and I handed this lady, her large coffee, and the sun shine bright in my eyes, and all I said was, praise the sun, and she looked at me all weird, and drove off. I woke up and saw that the clock said 6, work started at 5, I shot out of bed, 
threw on clothes, and sped to work. Something seemed off, but I was late. No time for that now. I walked in, past an area that wasn't running on my shift yet, and thought to myself, hum, wonder when they started that. It started dawning on me. When I made it to my line, there was a day shift person. The person I relieved every day when I showed up. She looked at me like I had two heads. It was 6am. I didn't have to work until 5pm. I shamefully told the shift manager what happened, clocked back out, and went back to bed. I worked in that company for 4 years after that, and to my last day, my manager gave me shit about it.